Hey guys, hope you're good. It is I again, Jalina Spiri from Creative Nestlings. Um, welcome to another episode of um, By Way of Masterclass, uh, where we speaking to a bunch of creatives about who they are, their journeys, and what they're working on, and how they're coping are in this current. Um, pandemic life and all that kind of stuff this is a series of like almost almost like a masterclass quick masterclass basically to get into working and surviving uh, and doing work basically so today uh, i'm going to be chatting to um uh she's a stylist creative director costume designer all around creative um yeah we'll talk about her work and what she does and how that came about uh, and just everything took so 20 minutes so you can ask questions uh, in the question box there and then I'll read, them, I'll read them towards the end basically so yeah let's get into it uh, shout out to Studio Lichi in Bio of Illustration also Department of Arts and Culture Sports Arts and Culture here in South Africa um, great cool let's get into it hello everybody hello 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 okay let me get Didi on Waiting for it, waiting for the technology to function. Didi. Hello. Hey. Hey, how's it? I'm good, how are you? I'm alright, I'm alright, I'm alright, I'm alright, all right. How you I been? Have, I'm good. I've been alright. I've been doing fairly okay, surviving and shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, even now I had to make a plan. I we experiencing low shading. <laughs> oh damn. <laughs> damn. Yeah, I had to find ways to make light. So yeah. here we are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I know how you feel. I had load shading earlier on and I was doing uh my weekly Facebook masterclass thing on the acceleration program we had and load mm-hmm. shading was bad. And then now somehow when load shading goes what happens the network gets crappy somehow, so that was bad mm-hmm. in my area. Yeah, so yeah. That sucks. I saw that. <laughs> okay, I think we're losing her. Damn! What? Yeah, no shading and connectivity. Okay, we're losing you a little bit there. What's happening? Okay. We, we lost you a little okay, bit. Okay, I'm back. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Oh, sorry. I think that, let's get into it. <laughs> no, it's cool. Um, let's get into it. So, who okay, are you cool. and what do you do? Just introduce yourself. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, my name is Didin Um, I'm 25. Uh, internet. Wow, the ghetto. <laughs> so I was born and raised in yeah. Rustenburg, the Northwest. And yeah, I reside in Joburg now. I work as a stylist. That's like my primary work, even though I do work as a creative director. But my main primary work is working as a stylist. Yeah, that's me in a nutshell. Okay, so the hard question for some of us who have no style whatsoever, what is style in the beginning anyway? So, so when someone says style to you, what is it? To me, style is a form of, for me, this is my personal view on style, a form of personal expression, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like basically saying what you into or what you about, who you are in telling the story of yourself yeah. in clothing. So, yeah. So, okay. like you would in words, you do it with clothes. So, that's how I see style for me. Okay. That's good. Yeah. So, I guess, so I guess all of us inherently have style, basically, is what you're trying to say. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I think so, but I probably, I mean, because we look at some style and say, ooh, that's bad style. 
but then what um gives us the right to say someone's style is bad you know what i mean cuz i i view it as a personal thing so yeah, yeah essentially i would say everyone has style it's your own personal okay. style yeah okay so 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 okay no, i think we're agreeing to that one um how do you not get to become how can i say to work in the style space right so so how do you become a stylist uh how does that work what is the process is this school for it is a so what's the is the education to it or is something can get into freelancing how do you get into that and how did you get into that so i'll start with how i got into it so i got into styling i went to fashion school um i studied fashion yeah. but i was studying buying and merchandising so like the yeah. business side of fashion um mm-hmm. And then as I went on with the years um I I really just liked playing around with like mood boards and putting together like looks um on Pinterest and I was like really intrigued by the world of like editorials and magazines so um I was like okay cool I just discovered that I'm not really that into like buying and merchandising it's just too like serious and a bit boring for me I, i need something that's going to allow me a bit more creative freedom so then i got into styling did like a bit of shoots with my friends in school where we would come together and i'd do the styling and then someone would do the makeup and then the photography and so on in south africa i wouldn't say there's like um a course designed for styling in the fashion schools i could be wrong maybe they do have um that course now but yeah that's how i got into styling and then my first like big break in the industry was when i started i got my first internship as a stylist in 2017 and that's how i got into styling so yeah i don't know if that answers your question no i'm <laughs> I mean it, it definitely <laughs> does um because I've been watching a lot of other other, other like Safi stylists and all that kind of stuff and seeing their work and seeing their interviews and all that kind of stuff they basically saying similar things and stuff so relatively yeah. I guess you could say style the styling as an industry is is relatively quite young could I be right in saying that um in I don't think in I mean it's fairly yeah like a bit of both I mean there are people who've been doing it like 20 25 years so yeah it's it's fairly relatively but not I I think it's more it's becoming I don't know a bit more visible yeah. um now um with like all the people with like Instagram and all the people that we follow whereas before maybe it's like someone who's like super low key just coins yeah. it and then yeah keeps on like moving you know so but yeah i would say it's not really new i think it's something that's been going on for like a while cuz i've assisted people that have been doing it for like 30 years for 25 yeah. years so yeah yeah so i mean just for some more knowledge what is the are they like i don't know I'm trying to think that like disciplines within styling like okay what, what the forms of styling basically uh I mean for example if it's a TV production and ad um a theater show or a fashion shoot or a fashion show or all that kind of stuff how does it all work basically I think yeah there are like different types of styling so I think there's um I think a lot so wow, weird. Um there's like <laughs> fashion styling which is basically fashion I mean styling that's centered around the fashion world which is like runway styling, editorial styling and all of that. And then there is um advertising styling where it's um your commercials um your stills campaign work and things like that and there's also film styling. Um so there are different kind of like aspects of like styling um yeah. that you get to like do in like different industries. Okay. And yeah. and then so so with you how did how did you monetize then? How did you how did you you said you were still as an intern so I guess that's when you started making money but then how did you not make 
become the lead basic stylist for for things and make and make money actually yeah i actually i i it just happened like i was lucky enough that i don't know i was putting up work and then i'd get i don't know someone would put in a word for me to say oh check out the stylist they really good i guess and then yeah but it all started with that internship i guess that introduced me to the world of styling because when i got introduced to the world of styling with that internship i didn't know much it was basically what i knew from the internet like but yeah. now you i needed like first hand kind of experience working on set understanding my role as a stylist and you know the responsibilities that come with it so it started with that with the internship where i got a bit more money and then from 2018 i started um freelancing as an independent stylist yeah and that is very hard that is proving to be very hard um to be independent and have no representation sometimes i get like shook as to how i'm found <laughs> um yeah but i guess also it's just like referrals with people that have seen my work um or that i've assisted or things like that so yeah i guess it just i i just kind of put out like creative work that i did with my friends where we came together and like put out work yeah. and then someone would say oh okay that's interesting um let's give her a chance yeah, yeah. so 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 you, so i mean with your story so i guess personal work and and, and freelance pro- like free projects basically uh yeah. with your friends have contributed to to your journey and stuff um definitely so, yeah So, so I mean what are some of the ways you've even found basically you mentioned this referrals but what is they are using technology like for example your instagrams your facebooks your afripedias and all that kind of stuff like getting work through that a lot okay we lost a second there okay you get back yeah i can't hear you yeah i think we lost connection Maybe let me kick you out and kick you in again. Yeah. Try editing her again in. Okay, she's online. Let's try it again. Sorry about that guys. You know, load shedding is just started all of a sudden out of nowhere. There you are. Okay, yeah. Um where were yeah. you please um ask the question again? Yeah, I'm saying like, I was talking about how you were found and and like how how are you how, how are you using like the internet and all that kind of stuff. You mentioned there's a lot of referrals. How, how, what else are you how are you getting work basically besides just the referral stuff? I think it's mostly like referrals and all like I don't think um cuz like all the platforms that I've joined now that kind of house my portfolio it's just been recently and yeah. um I haven't I haven't kind of gotten work from it so I think it's like referrals from like people that know my work um that are kind of producers that um have worked with me before whether being an assistant or whether yeah. I was HOD so it's all like experiences of like people that have worked with me and like internet referrals of like seeing my work on Instagram or on Twitter um yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean you're mentioning a lot of stuff there within the styling world like HOD and all that kind of stuff what is that <laughs> so what are the, what are the aspects that you the functions basically within that uh industry and discipline basically so um okay I'll for, for, like with my understanding of having worked in the industry I've worked as an assistant where I was mm-hmm. assisting a stylist who was an HOD and HOD is basically um head of department so mm-hmm. the person I'll be like you are head of the wardrobe and um styling department you are the person that um came up with the creative behind it you're basically mm-hmm. leading that department and showing um all the other people that are assisting you and yeah. basically in direct contact with like everyone who's also HOD of the different departments that make up a production. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And and you also dabble uh, I mean you mentioned like on your bio that you are also doing the what do you call it? Uh you are also a costume designer. 
uh, yes. to do that. So how does that work? Uh, and then how does it link so, now to your styling gigs? So basically, um, that's something also that I've kind of always been interested in going to fashion school. I just didn't study fashion design, but that's also something I kind of like gravitated towards. And I figured as a stylist, at some point, you do need to bring your own personal element to like um, giving life to the brief you've been given. So like the picture you have up now, um, the green suit um, on that um, picture on that editorial, I yeah. costume designed it um, to fit the brief that we are kind of going for because I couldn't get like something similar um, from the stores or like the sourcing houses. So I had to find a way to um, make it happen. So that's me coming in and getting something made. So you, you, you made it or you got some like a CMT to make it or... So, I mean, where, where time is, like, is, like, given yeah. to me, <laughs> then I can do it myself because I can also sew. Um, but mostly when, like, you work on, like, such projects, um, I'll be dabbling too much work to actually sit down myself and make it. So there's a CMT that I work with yeah. um, where I kind of just, like, give them, like, the design um, and get them to make it for me. So basically you could launch a fashion brand if you wanted to. If I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> if you wanted to. I, I mean, that's amazing. <laughs> so it's good to know yeah. how to make your own stuff. Uh, so so yeah. this is amazing. It's amazing. So, so, and then some of the clients, I mean, you, you worked with the, the, the brand of the check and then you worked with, with Adidas. I, I can't mention the other, the other brand because, you know, affiliations. <laughs> Personal affiliations. <laughs> uh, okay. And, and so how, how 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 hard is that work in terms of like getting in into into those kind of briefs and stuff with the bigger brands and all that kind of stuff? And let's say for example with Adidas brand, like Adidas campaign you, you, you did recently. How how do you how do yeah. you now get there and how does that all work? I, I I I I'm trying to think like about it. Like okay, how does how do you put together? What what how does it get inspired and all that kind of stuff? Yeah. So basically, um, how I got started into that, I got approached um, to be the HOD um, for that campaign, which was really cool. Yeah. Um, you get into it and then they present to you a brief of what they are trying to say with um, the campaign. So then yeah. I have to come in as the stylist and kind of, narrate that story through clothing right um what are we essentially saying with um the entire story of the campaign but also um what am i trying to say as i have been brought in as a stylist um from a clothing perspective and then that's how um yeah i got into getting that basically so it was an interpretation of um the made without worn without um campaign with adidas where i had yeah. to kind of like interpret that in terms of clothing it was kind of like um it was a fun shoot but also quite challenging at that time i don't think like all white was like um prominent in the season that we were in so like yeah trying to get all those clothing but i really enjoyed working on that set um it had an amazing team so yeah, yeah. that's amazing that's amazing like i mean we've we've had this chat before um me, me and you uh, at, our, at our last actual conversation creativity before covid19 hit um mm -hmm. So, 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 I mean, it's, it's amazing to see, like, the, the constant progress that you, that's the journey that you're going through and stuff, and you keep winning these briefs and, and working with all these different brands and all that kind of stuff. So, mm. I mean, what's next then? Oh, oh, wait, before what's next? How are you surviving then COVID because we can't shoot? You can't really Yo. go out there as much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I really don't know how I've made it this far because since COVID hit, I think my last job was in March. So I haven't yeah. worked since March until now. Um, so it has been very, very challenging. But um, I can see that, I don't know, restrictions are a bit 
more relaxed now so i'm hoping there will be work coming out but now yeah. i think i'm just also trying to go back into making creative work with my friends so yeah. whether we just coming together and putting projects together because i can't wait forever for like a yeah. paying job to come you know um how long am i going to wait for that so to keep kind of like my spirits up and my creative juices flowing i'm just going to go into creating like um creative work and yeah still exercising my creative spirit to keep yeah. a positive energy because it's quite a very difficult and challenging time um yeah. it hasn't been easy at all um but i'm grateful for the little experience that i keep, i mean the little inspiration i keep getting even in such dark times yeah well, that's amazing there's yeah. a question here what's a challenge to a genius like you it's from david what what what's a challenge to a genius like you <laughs> wow a lot of things a lot of things i struggle with anxiety so every time i get a job like I lose my shit. <laughs> like yeah. because honestly in the industry we work in you are as good as your last job. So um you have to always kind of put your best foot forward and also remember to not beat yourself up if like you flunk it or it doesn't come out the way you imagined it because I don't think you always get it right but I think it helps to know that you gave it everything that you could you know even where clients give you very limited budget where it's a huge string budget and they want you to give them like world class work and you just like how the hell am i going to make this work but you have to make it work you know yeah. because you agreed to do a job and you respect your work ethic and you want to show up and um pull all the stops regardless of having a wardrobe budget of like 2000 rand or whatever yeah. so yeah yeah that's that's amazing I, i mean yeah anxiety is definitely something i get some anxiety sometimes but i'm i'm learning to to cope with it yeah cuz yeah. I, i don't like client i don't like client work i i get angry at, at, at client work <laughs> I, i i try to avoid it you know you know cuz i don't really like people that much so it's, it's quite amazing to see that how you're dealing it and how you're working through that and stuff um particularly in this mm-hmm. time and 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 i mean Thanks. for you if we if we thought about okay I, I i'm able to capable and to do all of this have you come up with new ideas or are we going to be seeing new projects that basically take you from from the the the, the corner of being a stylist and costume designer and creative director because now i think with covid-19 we realize okay we need to monetize better have you have you been looking into that kind of stuff yes yes definitely like that's like one of the conversations i have with myself almost every single day and it's like it's even like a going back and forth um conversation with like my therapist so i'm like i don't know if i'm going crazy because every time i try and like exercise all my other creative interests i get like this heavy anxiety way it's like my imposter syndrome just like keeps knocking but yeah. definitely that's something that i'm working towards of like creating new work um practicing more as a creative director putting out more work as a creative director putting out more work as a costume designer and just really expanding um and showing all my creative um interests that yeah. i would like to eventually monetize you know so yeah yeah, yeah. Well, that, that, that's 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 different. I mean, someone just asked about uh, imposter syndrome, but I, I mean, you've mentioned it already, uh, and how you're dealing with that um, imposter syndrome. Yeah, it's basically. quite intense. I think I have yeah. an episode every week. <laughs> wow. Every I need like someone to like I don't know just to brush my hair and say no, man, it's okay, you're gonna yeah. be okay. <laughs> um, that's so, amazing. Yeah. yeah, that's amazing. Uh, and, and then. what next now so what you should, 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 should any new things coming out do you do if you want at least one brief since things are recessions are getting better uh and also with with work as you collaborating with your peers 
when, when can you expect that basically so it's definitely soon i haven't gotten any briefs since the um um the restrictions have been eased i'm hoping it is soon but i'm also not going to hold on to that anymore i'm just going to like i said create more um creative work with my friends yeah i don't know if you can hear me oh we can see you, but we can't hear you i don't know it's just a connection i think i'm sure you'll come back yeah okay there we go can you hear us we'll lost it again yeah come on remove and put it back in again okay this hope technology allows us to finish going on <laughs> oh we lost you oh okay so i say i mean yeah. i have like a new baby which is a creative agency called um folktail johannesburg with um a group of friends where we've yeah. come together to kind of make work that resonates with us and also like give a voice to like the i don't know kind of like people and groups that need to be heard like the um project that we did together that is google tandayo with the google tandayo theater um play women so more work like that um yeah. and basically expand my practice um as a creative director so yeah that's amazing that's amazing i mean david says he needs to call you uh for work so david you better call her after this i'll i'll I'll, 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 ask, <laughs> I'll ask her later on and stuff uh and you guys must hire her book her for all your shoots and stuff do you also do uh how can i say consulting styling for individuals i mean i've seen that somewhere on on shows <laughs> i don't know if that's i mean <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I've been battling with that for a while. Like, I've been asking myself, like, are you? Would you be interested in like consulting, styling for individuals? And the question I always go back to. I mean, the answer is that I don't know. <laughs> It's like I yeah. don't know. I love. I really love being given extreme creative freedom. Like, I want to yeah. be able to kind of go there in my imagination and search for. like my make believe world what i can make that's why i really enjoy creative work with friends like editorials um and i hope i can show more of this like extremeness that i speak of in like my coming work um yeah. that i'm going to be doing soon so yeah okay no well, that's amazing uh thank you very much thank you for taking this time to to do this i know you were anxious you know Uh I'm I'm like you I don't like lives but I have to do it it's part of the job yeah. and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They 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 proving to be quite fun I guess. I yeah. I always yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no they're not fun for me. They are not fun for me. <laughs> they are not fun. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. But no thank you for for, for taking the time to do this uh, and teaching us about about what it takes to be stylist basically. Uh, I think it's an amazing career of careers. It's, it's basically like being a visual, like using clothes. It's like being an artist but using clothes, basically. So that's quite cool yeah. to, to, to see. And, and and I wish I, I've seen the comments from the from from the video I showed now. A lot of people are like, oh, I didn't know it was you. So I, I wish there was a way they could credit you. You know, publicly, yes, Ooh, in the actual tricky. content. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. So, so that that could be amazing. I don't know how. I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe you see if you had your own clothing brand, you could you could slide in your name to the clothing, so when people see the clothing, like, oh, that's the clothes. I don't know. Something to to, to consider. <laughs> if I had to have one, I like people wouldn't know that it's mine. <laughs> wow. I think I love wow. this idea of just really not basing anything on like emotions of like knowing a person, but basically what the work makes you feel like not yeah. being about oh it's didi i like it you yeah. know it's not about me it's about the work yeah. so i always kind of like it's just like this ghost energy of like not really <laughs> like, oh, who is that, <laughs> who is that? <laughs> it's <Yeah>. quite cool <laughs> no yeah. that's cool you see i have successfully got you out of the house twice now 
one you physically see? and the internet. So, so yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Shout out but to no. you. <laughs> <laughs> but no, thank you very much. Thank you for taking the time, uh, and thank you everyone for watching. Uh, hope you guys learned something. You must hit it up. Book it for jobs. She's available. Uh, she's really amazing and good at her work and brilliant at work. So if you're shooting, you must do it. Please call Didi. <laughs> Thank no. you so much for having me. Um, yeah. yeah, it was quite cool. At least my right. nerves didn't kill me. <laughs> Shout out to David with all the yeah, love. <laughs> we see you, David. We see you once to be seen. We see you. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out yeah. to everyone who, who joined. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. No, all good. Thank you, guys. This is going to be available on the IGTV and I'm uploading Facebook and YouTube and all that stuff. Follow DD, follow Creative Nest links. Uh, and yeah, take care, guys. Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Bye. Cool. That was a quick conversation with... Diddy about business of styling, we got to learn about the business side of it, technique side of it, the, the process and inspiration around it, and what it takes to be a stylist in South Africa right now. So thank you guys for watching. We'll speak to you soon. Next week, we're going to do more lives, uh, two or three more lives. Uh, we're going to try and keep the energy and stuff. So if you have any suggestions of who you want to see, let us know. And thank you. Bye. Bye. And mask up, please. Wear a mask. Stop going outside. Stop partying. We're still in a crisis. Try and keep each other safe and at home and support each other no matter what. Take care. Bye.